It doesn't mean I'm going to agree with them, but I'm going to listen and I'm going to respond versus react. Think about their perspective and sometimes they are right. You know, you're right. We, sh- we should do it that way. And then other times I'm going to be like, I don't agree with you. And so, Ronnie, you, you've not lost your your edge. In fact, your business is going better better than ever. How has, you've mentioned how it has, however, translated into your relationships with your staff and colleagues and such that you're not as short-tempered, not as quick. Tell us about that. You know, I'm definitely patient with people and I try to listen to their perspective. And that doesn't mean, like you said, it doesn't mean I'm going to agree with them, (laughs) but I'm going to listen and I'm going to respond versus react. I and take a breath and think think about their perspective. And sometimes they are right. You know, you're right. We we should do it that way. Okay, I'm listening. And then other times I'm gonna be like, you, you know, you, I don't agree with you. So and you can say it in a reasonable way, right? There's ways of saying things, and there's ways of saying things. So I can say it without attacking. I can just say it as a matter of fact way. So it's been good. We've got a good energy in the office. Um, and it's a joking office. I work with women. So I always kid with them. And I'm like, you know, hey, sexual harassment goes two ways, girls, you know. So, um, you know, but um, but we've got a good energy going and um, we're a good little team here. And um, and then I have so I'm a real estate guy and I have maintenance guys out in the field. So and it's, we just work to get things done, get things accomplished and, uh, you know, try to do the next thing. And, and everybody's trying to make a living and we try to help people. So we do rentals. We help a lot of people find homes. So um, it's it's rewarding in that regard too. So I have some some real rewarding transactions where we help people that are in need. You've shared some of that with us. That's that's tremendous. You have a a heart for service, a heart to help others. Yeah. Plus, I make a little money too. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt. Well, it can be both. Isn't yeah, that a? It's a little both, that? exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It can okay. be both. Mm-hmm. You've also been a good friend to others in the community. I know that you are very appreciated and respected. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So speaking of uh, the women in your office, you know, making jokes about how good you look, let's talk about your health. So I'm the lightest I've been. I probably, I'm probably down 10 pounds from when a year ago. And I'm not the biggest guy in the world anyways, but um, I work out every day. And in 365 days, I have probably worked out 335 of those 365 days. And on the 30 days I missed, I was traveling. I was in a situation where I wasn't available. Whereas when I would miss in the past, I was calling because I was hungover. So I wouldn't show up and I didn't want um, the guys I work out with to see me in that state. So I probably was working out more like 280 out of 365. And a lot of those workouts weren't to the level of the workouts we're having now. So, um, and then I'm eating right, you know, it goes hand in hand. You know, you watch your health. Um, you're not taking those calories on, those empty calories. Sleeping good, that's a big part of the equation. So the health is just a whole other s- situation. And then obviously we're going to give us ourselves a chance for a longer life than if we were drinking and body, just just a fact. Now, that doesn't mean we all couldn't get hit by a car tomorrow or some illness could come up, overcome us, but we're definitely increasing our odds. That is a fact. It's a statistical fact. Absolutely, positively true. Yes. Uh, it's, not, it's not always about the weight loss either because you said you've lost 10 pounds, but physically you look so different. And so I know you lift and things like that, uh, I'm I'm guessing your distribution of weight has changed tremendously. Your muscle mass, your fat. Kind of, I talk to you know the guys that I work out with, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to lose muscle. I want to lose fat, right? We don't want to mm-hmm. lose a mass. We want to lose, you know, from your stomach, or, you know, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. And I believe that. So it's been going well. And my trainer's like, I can't believe, you know, the the year you've had. And so I've shared some of my, you know, we have sometimes profound comments, you know, once or twice a month or even more than that, but just some profound stuff that goes down. And he's like growing from it too. He can't, you know, he's a really good wholesome guy. And uh, so uh, he's pretty, he's pretty pleased with what's happened to me as well. Because I've been working out with him for five years. Mm 